Hello, my name is James Bannerman and welcome to the secret of creativity in just five minutes. Over the years, creativity has been defined in many different ways, from the defeat of habit by originality to thinking outside the box. Fundamentally, though, it really boils down to one thing and one thing only. Creativity is really all about playing with patterns. It's as simple as that. So let's explore what that means in practice. Let's just take the letter V, for example. One of the ways you can come up with ideas as and when required, whether you believe that you're creative or not, is you play with patterns by connecting what you have with something else, something different. So if you take the letter V, for example, what might happen if you potentially connected it with a straight line? Well, you could end up with an arrow. You could end up with the letter Y, put it on its side, you could end up with a K. Alternatively, what could happen if you connected it with another V? You get an X. Or put it to the side, you get a W. And if you connect a V and a W, suddenly you get the Volkswagen emblem. You could connect it to curves and make a love heart. You could stretch it a little bit and connect it to some circles and then it could become like the antennae of a little insect. So fundamentally, one of the key ways in which you can play with patterns is connect it to something different. It could be lots of little Vs like a wavelength, or it could be that you connect it to a piece of string and you turn it into a kite. Another way of playing with patterns though, is that you don't so much connect it to something else, you alter what you already have. So for example, you could actually make your V a lot brighter. Yeah, literally shine as bright as some sort of diamond. Or maybe you could make it much colder, you could play with the temperature and you could turn your V into some sort of ice cream cone. You could make it much smaller and then it becomes like the beak of a little, a little bird. You could make it much larger so it becomes like a mountain or the valley and maybe even little birds in the distance. You could multiply so that the Vs become like sergeant stripes. Alternatively, you could play with patterns by going off to the land of Vs. It sounds a bit crazy, admittedly, but if you went on a navigation, perhaps, to the world of the Romans, clearly in Roman times, V was five. Or if you think of modern Romans, Italians, you think of the Vs in a pizza. You could also go off to the world of royalty. Again, sounds a bit bonkers, but you look at a crown and it's just really a series of Vs. Or, or maybe you look at a, a fleur-de-lis yeah, in royal France looks like a big V. Or you could raise your eyes, perhaps look up at the sky. Maybe you could have five Vs and you could end up with a star. A fourth way in which you can play with patterns is new directions. You turn things upside down, back to front. So the Spartans turn their V upside down and put it on their shields. Elevators, yeah. Next time you're waiting to go up a skyscraper, you look at the sign next to the lift, or you think of a tent, or you think of pyramids, or you think of a, the fin of a shark. You could also though, this is the fifth way of playing with patterns, whether you think you're creative or not, all you need to do is start questioning why a V always has to look like that. What if it was shorter on one side, longer on another, and it becomes a tick? What if it wasn't a real V at all? What if it was like the movement of a bull? So fundamentally then, the secret of creativity is simply playing with patterns. And Paul Smith, the designer once said, you can find inspiration in everything. And if you can't, simply look again. Some people will just look at this and see a V and all they'll ever see is a V. But for others, if you open up your mind, release your imagination, you can start to see things that other people simply do not see. And if you're interested in further information on how to unleash your creative potential from a personal perspective and business perspective, you may find it helpful to explore both my best-selling books, uh, Genius and Business Genius. Thank you for listening.